Welcome. Today we talk about how we can continuously optimize production and also inference productivity with digital twins and AI. My name is Manuel Keldenich. I'm strategic portfolio manager for PA Software and I'm going to introduce you to this topic. So in process industries, we have the challenges that on the one hand side, uh, a lot of plants are already in operation since decades, 20, 30, 40 years. Um, that means they are very old, the documentation is outdated. And what's very important in um, process industries, um, there's a lot of impact on sustainability. If you think about a car, for example, around about 95% of the interior of a car is coming from chemical industries. So that means when we talk about decarbonization, energy efficiency and resource efficiency, whatever we can achieve in process industries has an impact on all other industries and the respective steps in the value chain afterwards as well. So the big question is, how can we overcome these challenges? How can we make process industries um, more energy efficient? How can we make process industries um, consuming less energies? Um, because this has an impact on our all environment and all steps afterwards. So just a short trailer on this topic. So Lensing is just one example of how co-creation between Siemens and a customer and partner, by the way, can make an impact on, supply, uh, on sustainability. Lensing is using Digital Twin with our software solutions um, to improve productivity of their plants and optimize CO2 emissions, etc. How this is going, I'm going to show you in the next couple of seconds. So the big solution from Siemens about getting, becoming more sustainable and creating digital twins is by uh, combining the real and the digital worlds. And we can accelerate now this process with artificial intelligence. And I will show you some use cases in the next couple of minutes that really make an impact and an easy uh, to use access point to the world of digitalization. So, the first thing is, I just said it in the beginning, most of the times the documentation of a plant, being it in chemical industry, is basically 20, 30, 40 years old. So that means a huge part of the legacy documentation is available paper-based or in PDFs. So you do not have a digital basis. Um, and here AI comes into the game. So we have a solution, AI, um, supported PID recognition, for example, that helps our customers, also Lensing, to digitize their existing documentation and transfer it with the help of AI into intelligent Comos PINIDs. So that means that something that had to be done manually by an engineer in the past or still today is now done by the help of AI, reducing administrative tasks and making sure that the workforce is focusing really on productive and value-adding tasks in the future. And what does it mean? In the end, you can save around about 50% of your time for engineering or getting the digital basis, the basis for the digital twin together. Another example is about how do we do the engineering of a process plant. So with the last use case, we made sure that a part of the documentation is available in a digitized format. Now you use this basis for plant engineering. And in this example here, we combine the engineering data, the process engineering data coming from Comos together with the simulation topic, uh, tool SIMIT and our web-based DCS system, Zimatic PCS Mio. That means we plan our plant, we plan the process part, we plan the automation, and then we use a simulation with Simit to do the virtual commissioning. Means checking if there are any errors in the engineering and testing all automation functions before we go into real production with the plant. 
And um, honestly, this is something we use also internally and we can save up to 30% of the commissioning time with this solution and also use it for operator training afterwards. Another topic. Imagine we created the digital basis. We um, made sure that we create the digital twin with process, modeling, simulation, and also with the automation. Now the plant is coming into operations and then we need to optimize the production later on in, uh, in operations day by day. Imagine having a fleet of plants distributed over several locations um, with a lot of equipment like pumps, valves, motors, vessels, etc. Now using the GDEP digital applications platform in the background and XHQ operations intelligence to bring all data from all relevant plants and assets together can significantly help you to detect on the one hand side issues, but also compare the performance of equipment across sites. And with this, you get a lot of very, very valuable information that helps you making decisions about how can we uh, do troubleshooting before an accident occurs? How can we identify bad actors? How can we optimize energy consumption? How can we make sure we produce um, only then when the uh, stocks with um, sustainable um, energy like from solar or from water or wind uh, is available and make sure that we reach our sustainability target. So a lot of optimization potential also during ongoing operations while your plant or your plants are in operations. Um, we have several customer examples um, that for example from Chevron, a company in oil and gas industry, we could increase plant utilization by more than 10% uh, by using XHQ operations intelligence software or Galp was able to save 4.4 million euros cost savings per year using the GDAP digital applications platform to run models and create what if scenarios to reduce energy costs, waste, etc. So seems quite impressive, but what's also cool is that you can use artificial intelligence together with the digital twin to predict the behavior of certain assets. So um, in this example, we have a look at critical assets like for example, um, a pump, yeah? You can see, for example, um, if the energy consumption is increasing or friction is getting higher, which means higher energy consumption, that something is not going according to, uh, to plan uh, with this valve and you can use the AI to predict the future behavior. In this case, we use Siemens Predictive Analytics and in a uh, standalone application to predict the behavior and start predictive maintenance before energy consumption is going up or even before the plant uh, or the, the pump breaks down and we have an equipment failure which leads to a complete shutdown of a plant in the worst case. And honestly, first examples really show that we can decrease downtimes by around about 15% with this approach. So we talked a lot about digital twins, how we can create digital twins starting with legacy data, how we bring all the software that plays uh, into this game together to create the virtual world. But how can we now use the virtual world, the digital twin, to train our operators and our field staff? And with this example here, we show a very interesting combination where we use data from the real world, from the DCS system or from the simulation in Zimit, and transfer that into the virtual world where in this case a maintenance engineer um, is planning to do some inspection tours or maintenance tours in the virtual world. That can help on the one hand side to show the people that are working in the field um, what if scenarios, so it means what is happening if I open a valve where there's still some pressure on it. So this could have a tremendous um, accidents um, as a result, but we can also help to strengthen collaboration between the plant operators in the control room and the maintenance people in the field because they have to work together. But normally they only communicate with, um, with the walkie-talkie and now they can do it together in joint training scenarios by using the digital twin. Yeah, And we really found out from customers like Total that 
accidents, for example, were significantly lower because they could familiarize with their working environment while the plant was still in, um, in, in engineering and being ramped up, but also because the training was more efficient. Yeah? The industrial metaverse is already a reality. And look at this example from our partner CETA. CETA is creating plants, it's engineering plants for pharmaceutical industries. Yeah? And using this data together with highly realistic 3D can really make sure that you have a photorealistic environment of your plant that you can access, where you can bring in values from the real world and um, basically have everything in the virtual world ready before it comes to real plant operations afterwards. And this is really the next step, combining real and digital world. And this is a great example. And in the end, having this digitalization and these models can really help speeding up engineering times by around about 25%. Um, and if you calculate the working hours, the, the cost for working hours for an engineer, etc., and project durations of one and a half years, this is really a huge potential of cost savings. And um, most of the times when we are discussing uh, also with customers is that looks quite nice and impressive, but how and where do I start? And the answer is quite easy. There is not this one fits all. Yeah? If you're using a DCS system, being it from Siemens or from another party, use simulation for the virtual commissioning and also for your operator training. And if you want to have more um, impact from digitalization, think about do and take the data from the process engineering, bring it into the simulation model to combine process and automation engineering, or use model-based solution to optimize an existing plant. So there's a lot of ways to start and we're really happy to support you on this journey.